celebrate the third set of stations that begin on page 33 this evening. And as we have done, Deacon Jim will pray the first seven, and I'll pray the second seven, and uh, Deacon Jim will offer our reflection for this evening. So may we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. bowing in contrition and humility, O Lord, we offer to you this tribute of our worship in the memory of the passion of our Lord, Jesus Christ. May it serve to the glory of your name and to the benefit of all faithful Christians living in death for the forgiveness of their sins and for life everlasting. Amen. But as for me, the only thing I can boast about is the cross of our Lord, Jesus Christ. station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. As soon as it was morning, the chief priests with the elders and scribes and the whole council held a consultation, and they bound Jesus and led him away and delivered him to Pilate. They all condemned him and said, He deserves death. Pilate said to them, Take him yourselves and crucify him, for I find no crime in him. God did not spare his own son, but gave him for us all. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who came down to earth from the glory of the Father, and who poured out your precious blood for the remission of our sins. Humbly we ask you that on the day of judgment, placed on your right hand, we may hear you say, Come, blessed of my Father. We ask this of you who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. station. Jesus takes off his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. So they took Jesus, and he went out, bearing his own cross, to the place called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew, Golgotha. The Lord has laid on him the inequity of us all. He was cut off out of the land of the living, stricken for the transgression of his people. Let 
us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who has said, My yoke is easy and my burden is light, help us to dare in it a way that we may obtain your favor. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Hear the words of the Lord. You who tremble at his word, your brethren who hate you and cast you out for my name's sake, have said, let the Lord be glorified. But it is they who will be put to shame. Do you not know that a prince, a great man, has fallen this day in Israel? Surely he has borne our griefs and carried our sorrows. Yet we esteem him greatly, made by God and appointed. Let us pray. O all powerful God, may we amid so many trials, be given a rebirth of hope through the merits of your Son's holy Son. We ask this of you, through him who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, Christ, and we bless you. What can I say for you? To what compare you, O daughter of Jerusalem? What can I liken to you, that I may comfort you, O virgin daughter of Zion? The Lord has done what he purposed, has carried out his threat, as he ordained long ago. He has demolished without pity. He has made the enemy rejoice over you and exalted the might of your foes. Cry aloud to the Lord, O daughter of Zion. Let tears stream by his heart. Amen. Let us pray. At the hour of your passion, Lord Jesus Christ, the heart of Mary, your mother, was pierced with the sword of sorrow, fulfilling the prophecies of the Jews. Now at the hour of our death, hear her prayers on our behalf and grant us mercy. You who lives and reigns forever. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. 
fifth station, the cross is laid upon Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. As they were marching out, they came upon a man of Cyrene, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. They laid on him the cross to carry it behind Jesus. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Let us pray. Let your hearts be touched, O Lord, by your empathy, and bring our rebellious wills back to yourself. Through Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. by men, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and as one from whom men hid their faces, he was despised, and we esteemed him not. His appearance was so marred beyond human, beyond human semblance, and his form beyond that of the sons of men, that many were astonished at him, but by his wounds we have been healed. Vindicate me, O Lord, for I have walked in my integrity. Speak me not the way with sinners, nor my life with bloodthirsty men. Let us pray. By your Son's own blood, O God, remake us in your image. Guide our footsteps in your paths, and gift us with love for you. Through the same Christ Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Seventh station, Jesus falls a second time. We do you, Christ, and we bless you. I am the man who has seen affliction under the rod of God's wrath. He has besieged and enveloped me about so that I cannot escape. He has put heavy chains upon me. Though I call and cry out for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has blocked my way with hewn stones. He has made my paths crooked. But I am a worm and no man, scorned by men and despised by the people. All who seek me mock me. They sneer at me. They wag. 
wag their heads. Let us pray. O Lord, may we, who are conscious of our sinfulness, sorrow deeply over our faults. May we rise up after our own falls and follow after your voice. Show us the straight way to you, through, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Rejoice not over me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord will be a light to me. I will bear the indignation of the Lord until he pleads my cause and executes judgment for me. He will bring me forth to the light. I shall behold his deliverance. The steps of a man are from the Lord, and he establishes him in whose way he delights. Though he fall, he shall not be cast headlong. Let us pray. O Lord, in your goodness, 
Protect your church always, for without you we cannot help but fall. Steady our steps and direct them toward our salvation. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When they came to a place called Golgotha, which means the place of the skull, they offered Jesus wine to drink, mingled with gall. But when he tasted it, he would not drink it. And they divided his garments among them, casting lots for them, to decide what each should take. I looked for pity, but there was none, and for comforters, but I found none. They gave me poison for food, and for my thirst they gave me vinegar to drink. Let us pray. Strip us, O Lord, of our former self with all its evil deeds and ways, and clothe us with your Spirit, so that we may be recreated according to justice and true holiness, through Christ our Lord. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. There, on Golgotha, they crucified him, and with him two others, one on either side, and Jesus between them. Pilate also wrote an inscription and put it on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Why are you so far from helping me? They have pierced my hands and my feet. I can count all my bones. Let us pray. O oh God, who for our sake will to submit your Son to the pain of crucifixion, grant that we may joyfully receive the fruits of his reparation and enjoy loving communion with you. Through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Have mercy on us, O oh Lord.
12 station, Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing near, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. Then Jesus, crying out with a loud voice, said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And having said this, he breathed his last. Christ humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God has highly exalted him and bestowed on him the name which is above every name. Let us pray. For the redemption of the world, O Lord Jesus Christ, you were nailed to the cross at midday. For the remission of sins, you did pour forth your precious life. Grant that we, after our own death, may be with you in paradise, where you live and reign forever. As mercy on us, O Lord.
14th station, Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Joseph took the body and wrapped it in a clean linen shroud and laid it in his own new tomb, which he had hewn in the rock. And he rolled a great stone to the door of the tomb. My heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body also dwells secure. For you will not give me up to the netherworld, nor let your faithful one undergo corruption. Let us pray. In your mercy, O Lord, grant that through the death and burial of your Son, we may be brought to the glory of his resurrection. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Into your hands I commit my spirit. These are the 
words taken from the Apostle Luke, offered by our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So here we stand at a very unique point in our Lenten journey. Why is it unique? Well, this is the last Friday night at this parish we will be having Stations Across on a Friday evening. Next week, we have Rosh Hashanah, Bitter Lamentations. The Friday after that is our wonderful Tenebrae service. This Sunday is Passion Sunday. The following Sunday is Paul Sunday. And then Easter. We're at that point in our great Lenten journey when we have an opportunity, an opportunity for an amazing, amazing gift to stop the presses, whether we're here at the parish or we're at home, wherever we are, we can stop the presses. Because it was just a few weeks ago, Father Jason was standing there at the pulpit, and he was talking to us, preparing us for this great Lenten journey. He started in pre lent when we were in rose, and then into purple, and he asked us, what are we giving up? He talked about chips and he talked about abstaining from this and maybe fasting on Friday or fasting on Wednesday as well as it used to be in days of old. He then went ahead and challenged us about giving, giving to those in need, whether it's the canned food drive, the, the um, food and the non-perishable products that we will donate over to the Lutheran Church. He remember, he put out the cry for people to get involved with our food ministry. And praise God, many people stepped up and have done so much. And it's been a blessing. He challenged us to give. And then he challenged us to draw closer to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, through prayer. To learn how to get closer to him so that when tragedy hits our lives, whatever that may be, we look to him, not to ourselves. Why do I say we have a great opportunity? For the following reason. I want to do a temperature check. Zero to ten. Simple temperature check. Zero being, I never even thought about doing anything for Lent. I never thought about fasting. I never thought about giving. And I never thought about getting closer to Christ. I just, I don't know. That's just where I'm at. I haven't done anything. And we go all the way up to 10. I am so on fire for Jesus Christ. I am engulfed with his Holy Spirit. I see his pain through the eyes of his mother. Oh my gosh. When Jesus meets Mary face to face, to be able to participate in that and have your heart break with her heart, and then be reconciled by Jesus who says, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves. He knew what he was giving us. Zero to ten. So where are we in this continuum? We don't have to shout it out. Where are we? Zero to ten. Are we a zero? Are we a ten? If we're a ten, how do we keep it there? If we're a six, why aren't we a ten? What will it take for us to get to be in his arms, knowing that everything we touch, everything we look at, every word that comes out of our mouth is him. What do we need to do to get there? Do we need to come to our knees more? Do we need to give more? Do we need to give up something? If we've messed up in Lent because we said we aren't going to eat meat on Wednesdays and we did, it's not over because Christ walked where we walked. He stood where we stand. He felt what we feel. He knows what we know. He understands. He truly understands. And he's given us an opportunity to stop the presses in 2021, in this period of great Lent, 
and say, my God, my God, help me to go from wherever I am, zero to 10, and remain at that 10, because with you, there is peace. We're on this journey. We've talked about this journey. We have an opportunity as we get ready for Passion and Palm and that glorious morning of resurrection. Let us be able to celebrate with him as we never have before. Our risen Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and